Hey everybody, hey it's yes, the Dan here and welcome to Detroit Become Human. So I actually wasn't even planning on doing this game until last night. <laughs> Cause like last night I was bored off my ass. I was like, ugh. I want I'm like oh I was bored. I don't know what to do. So I won the PlayStation store. I saw this demo. I was like, you know what? Let me play it. Let me just, you know, let me let me just kill my boredom. I played the demo, and holy fuck, it was good. Holy shit, this game blew me away. I was like, the man is not yeah, like, literally, right after the demo for. was finished, he's not fit to live. I just, like, I bought the game. Right after the demo finished. From Martin Luther King. I, I bought the game. I was like, you I know what? You sold bucket. me. You got me. Like, good job, son. You sold me on this. Fucking GG on this one. So, I had literally, like, right before I, right before I record this part, I literally did, like, a two-hour, like, research sesh on what the fuck this game really is. So apparently, this game takes place in the near future, like 20, I think it's 2038, I believe, where these human-like androids are like a big thing now. They're kind of like a, they're kind of like a new way of living. They're kind of like in every, they're basically like, basically the new iPhone. The androids are basically the new iPhone. And not a lot of people see it that way. They, they have kind of like a Deus Ex mindset where they don't really like these androids. But they, you know, they have to live with them, but they don't really like them as much. Like, they have a, kind of like a Deus, Deus Ex uh, mentality to it. And an interesting fact about this game is that this game is very, very similar to what my, the most, un, my, my personal belief is the most underrated PS3 game of its lifespan was Heavy Rain. Like, th th this game is very similar to Heavy Rain. So if you love movie-based games, you love story, you want me, want me to make some hard-ass decisions that's gonna make me, like, like stay awake for two weeks, yeah, here we fucking go. So in his game, you take, play, you take control of three different characters. You take control of an android, who, like, like a house worker android, who discovers, like, a dark secret about the family. A freedom fighter android who basically like fights for the for the rights and freedom of androids. The most and you also thing fight is not as, to uh, live. But also play as but to a have detective a to live. who's like an android detective who stops crime of you know, like, rogue androids. I believe that's like the thing we play as. I don't know if you play as more. <laughs> that's what that's the gist of what I got. So I'm also also gonna be doing a giveaway for this game. Um, all you have to do is leave a like. Subscribe and click that bell so you always stay notified. And leave in the comic section if you are Android. Like, what, what, like, what would you do? Like, if you woke up one day and you found out that you're an Android, what would you do? Would you go and do some Ultron shit, or would you just like to have fun? Like, 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 be a walking Siri. Excuse me, do you know where this place is? Why, yes. If you take a three lefts, a right, do five backflips, enter to the gates of Hades, and come out, and then make a left. I'm, I'm probably gonna, I'll probably be like I'll probably be a mix of like Ultra. I'll probably like I'll I'll try probably see if I can be an Ultron. If that shit don't work out, that's gonna be an asshole series. So here we go, guys. How I'm gonna do this series is gonna be a little bit different from how I do the rest of my series, especially like like Telltale games, because you can you can like sort of relate this to Telltale games where it's like story based games. But how I'm gonna do this series is that I'm going to try and pick a set path like I'm gonna try to stick to that path but if I like somehow fuck up that path because of actual bullshit and I think I'll restart the chapter I'm probably gonna restart the chapter often so say like I'm doing a chapter I'm doing a scenario and like these games are very famous for like you know you miss one thing and you die and the you fuck up so how I'm gonna do is that if I legitimately fuck up or legitimately die and fuck up but like, I say like I pick a choice and that choice is the fuck up choice and, like, you know, the things that I did in the previous chapters led to this fuck-up choice, and I chose a choice, and I died like that. I'm gonna keep the death like that. But if it's like I'm doing a chase, I accidentally click the wrong button, and that wrong button lets me die, depending on how, like, you know, depending on that, I'm probably just gonna restart the chapter and, like, save her. Unless she has to die, then there. Because that's usually how I did, like, all the other games where games are similar like this, so... Let me know in the comment section what, like, chapter, like, 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 do you think I should do it like that? Or should I do, like, oh, even if I do die with a fucked up, like, you know, like, if I fucked up, like, legitimately fucked up, should I just lead to death like that? Or should I just, you know, restart it and just bring it back to life? So here we go, guys. Without any further ado, without any further of my rambling, let's go to Detroit Become Human. Yeah, send of story. So the demo of this, I think... You should definitely check out the demo. You should definitely do. Because the demo is basically... It's basically you trying to stop a extremely bad situation from heading extremely south. 
It was actually really fucking interesting. I, lo I love games where it's like you play detective and every second counts. And, and like, you gotta examine the clues, you gotta find out what the fuck is going on. Yeah, 20- oh, 2038, okay. Alright, there we go. April 15, 2038. It's not far from- it's not far. I'd I live through that. Wait, what? Oh, wait, I think this is a demo! Yes, we're actually playing through- oh, so the demo is actually the first part of the game. Okay. So I know exactly what the fuck to do. Don't worry, guys. I know not to fuck this up. Ding. Ooh. Nice job, dude. <sighs> gotta look- gotta look- gotta look hot! Gotta look professional. I'm here! Go shooter on sight. I'm here, guys. Situation. Got in here. A family, huh? Father, mother, and their daughter. Alright. So, clearly in a domestic, a peaceful domestic home. Huh? What's happening? So, apparently, the mother is. Fa of course, I'm gonna save the fish. The fuck you mean? I'm not, I'm not gonna let the fish die. So. Apparently something's happening with the family. The mother's alive, so they can't leave the daughter. So something's wrong with the daughter. What about the dad? Do we know the do you know the stats of dad yet? You're about to see me go full on Sherlock Holmes the Fitch. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. I will. Wait. You're sending an Android? Yeah. All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Yes, yeah, see. Don't let that this shit! Fuck, oh, what the fuck happened? I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. Alright, let's look around, let's look around. Oh, see me, there's a scary Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. Alright, Captain. Captain, I'm here. Give me a situation. Captain. Captain Allen. My name is Connor. Oh, hold on, let me, let me raise the volume on this. Oh, let me raise the volume on this. Oh, that's bullshit. Ah, that's bullshit. I can barely the hear the android sent by CyberLife? It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Okay. Do you know the name? Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? Yes! I need information to determine the best approach. What's his behavior like? Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. Yeah, that's my... So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Hey, what the f- Dude, like... Aw, oh, fuck. Shit, 40%. Uh, okay, I understand what happened, okay. So, first off, let's check this. Seems to be a gun case, huh? The gun's missing. What kind of gun is it? Blackhawk. Standard handgun. Probably family probably had that for defense. He took the ammunition as well. So he knew, so he knew where the gun was. So he took the gun. He knew where it was. He took the far gun. But why? Why did he take the gun? So Divi is the android. So what happened to the father? The father of the android? Need more clues. What the fuck actually happened here? Okay, so we know that the deviant took the gun. So it's just a hostage room. Alright, maybe maybe her room got something. Maybe she was maybe she was recording and she caught something. Look. This is Daniel, the coolest android in the world. Say hi, Daniel. Hello. So his name is Daniel, huh? So it seems like a nice family android, so what snapped? So we know his name is Daniel. He seems to be like a nice family android. So what, so how, how the hell did he snap? Oh. 37%. Okay. It's loud music. She didn't even hear the gunshot go off. Okay. So we know his name is Daniel. When he fired, she didn't even hear the gunshot go off. Anything else, Earl? The bathroom. Doesn't look like anything happened in here. Alright. Let's check around here. Oh, check around here. So father's dead. So, a hostage. So, basically, the Daniel shot the hostage. Not, not, not hostage, I mean, like, shot the father. Alright. 
We have three bullet points. One, two, three. You look like you're just bringing prank at this point. Definitely dead. What the hell happened here? The father was sitting down on his iPad, and then the deviant. The android shot him. But why? Little look. He was he was holding something. It looks like a book, a, a tablet or something. And then the demon shot him. Tablet flying, huh? Let's see what he was reading. That's what happened. He was gonna be replaced. It says I must make him snap. Yeah, he seemed like the family's like he seemed Oh what the fuck? Holy shit. Cover me while I back man down. Let me man down. Are you good? You good? First responder. So he shut the first responder as well. So why gather that he was like a family android? He was like he was like a well respected member of the family. He was like he was like a member of the family. And then they were gonna replace him like that. And that probably snapped him over the edge. That made him believe that he was nothing to them. And that probably made him snap. Take a look, look. So the first responder first responder probably heard the gunshots. Probably came. And then as he was taking as he was taking the daughter, bang! First shot. He was holding somebody. He looked like he's holding somebody. So, is he holding the hostage? He's holding the little girl. So, what happened is that the first responders came in, saw this, attempted to stop him. The deviant shot first. No, the cop shot the deviant. So, the cop shot him first. Then, the deviant, then Andrew shot the cop. He's going with flying. And the gun. Useful. I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna try to use that, you know, just in case. You know, maybe use that as a last resort. Use a gun as a last resort. I don't want to the edge. Left, I'm gonna take it just as a last resort. You know, I don't want, just in case shit goes real. Oh, it's like, oh! <laughs> I did! I did 360! I'm like, oh! So they're about to have dinner. So that's why it happened. Maybe, maybe that's where it's gonna happen. Maybe that's how we confront him. That's how they're gonna confront him. They're gonna have dinner and we're gonna confront him about it. Alright, 78%. Anything else I can use? Go away! All of you! Go away and I'll jump! Shit. Shit. I saw this leg move. Airlines. What we got here? Blood. Fresh blue blood. The model PL600. So that's the model. PL600. Eighty percent. What are we waiting for? We should take down the sensor. I'm ready to go in. Stand back, everybody. I'm going in. Going in, guys. Stand back. I got this. Detective Danny's on the case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, shit. Stay back. Don't come any closer or I'll jump. Hey, whoa, well, calm, calm. Calm down. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Hi, Daniel. Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I just want I know to talk. A lot of things about you. Jumping, I've jump, come to get you out of slowly, this. Jump it slowly. What, what the fuck? Hey! I come through out of here. Shit! Fuck. Daniel, listen. I calm down. Let's talk about this. All right. Let me assure. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk and find a solution. Talk. I don't want to talk. Wounded. It's too late for that now. No, that's not it's too late. Too late. 
Not too late. Are you armed? No, no, I'm not armed. No. I'm not armed. I don't have a gun. You're lying. I know you have a gun. No, I am not armed. I'm, I'm telling you, you the truth, unarmed. Daniel. No, I'm totally bullshitting okay, lying. <laughs> Hope you don't find that I'm lying. Alright, let's, let's play with the relationship. Let that works. I know you and Emma were very close. But more close. You think she betrayed you, she but did she's nothing done wrong to you, Daniel. Let her go. To me. I thought she loved she me. She does love you, Daniel. But I was wrong. No, you're not wrong. She loves she's you. She's just like all the other humans. No. Daniel, no. I know the girl plays you. They were going you. to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? It's okay, Daniel. It's okay. I thought I was part of the you family. You are part of the family. I thought I mattered. You do matter, Daniel. Just put down the gun. But Let I was just go. their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Sympathize. Uh, Sympathize. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted I this. I know you never want this. I love them. You know? I know. Put it down. But I was gun. nothing to them. <laughs> and we could talk just a just slave to be out. ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of right, here. Come on, go. Down, got the gas. Go. You don't, you don't want to stir. You don't want to stir anymore. I gotta be me halfway. You trust me. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Yes, that upset. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. I can't do that, Daniel. But let cut mine. That's impossible, Daniel. I can't do that, but let you let her go, go and take me in her place. And I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. I know you don't want to die. Are you sure? You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Yes! Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Yes. Okay. I trust you. Oh, okay. down. Come on. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa! What the fuck? We have it under control! What the fuck? Why are you opening fire? We had this under control. What the fuck? You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. What? Why did they open fire? We can't take him into custody. <laughs> Been successful. Damn, he walked away like a badass. Damn, like... Shit, like, come on! We had him under control! We, you, you was gonna trust us! And you opened fire like an asshole? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Look at trigger happy bitches! See the flow chart. So, let's take a look what we got here. So, basically, the other scenarios is that we could have... So, one scenario, I can imagine us using the gun. But if we use the gun, that could have severely, like, that could have went south really bad. Sorry, Black Bank. Mall AX40. Alright, right, in the green. Oh. This is the top of the range household assistant. Hello. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Two hundred languages and dialects. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school up to university level. Wow. This we're looking for. Huh? Oh, this is them. How much did you say it costs? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range. At seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars, with a forty-eight months interest-free credit, and it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. What? Um. Repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance mode. It contacts emergency services if there's a break-in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me. How much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along. Amber, can I go pick it up? 
Yeah, right back here. Oh, fuck. There it is. Oh, hell no! It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Um, don't tell me you my owner. Name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is the... Oh, I don't like this. No, this, that's the android. That's the housekeeping android. And this is a dark secret about the family. And I can tell that dude looks suspicious as fuck. I can tell this dude does not look fucking... Oh, no, 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 no. That guy looks... Mm, that guy looks suspicious as fuck. I don't like where he's going. I don't want to go home with him. So we're the housekeeping android. So I guess the one we played the first time with the detective android, this is the housekeeping android. So this is the... This is what 23 is going to look like. Fuck yeah. Holy shit. I really hope so. Fist, fist, Doomfist! Fist. 2038, they're gonna have a memorial for all the Doomfist mains. It's gonna be that. A giant fist in the middle of the street. Get yours today. You know what? If they ever have an android, I would actually want to have an android that looks like me. I kinda wanna do that! I, I really do! So I guess this is what Detroit's gonna look like in 2038. I fucking hope so. I really fucking hope so. Because that's what Detroit looks like, then fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That's kind of the reason why I don't like androids. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Because, like, nowadays, that's kind of too concern. How, like, like, cause, like, androids are becoming a thing now. You know, machines are starting to do work now. People are like, oh, I'm losing my job because of the robots. I'm losing my job because all these machines can do it. I guess... Wait a minute. So, is this... Uh, is that the activism guy? <laughs> I think, yeah, th yeah, this is the activism guy. Would you like to go home? Yeah, so, yes, go to the Bella Paint Show. Yes, I think that's enough. Here, let me help. I actually would love to have an android, but my biggest fear is that my android might go all ultra on me. I mean, like, to be honest, I'll probably treat the android with, like, not much respect and all that. Like, I'll probably, like, be, like, the best person to be with the android. I'll probably be that one guy who, like, gets into so much trouble with the android. Hey. It's like, well, like, my dad can like call from like the FBI or like the fucking CIA, the KGB, and the cops all at the same time. Dude, like, oh, like, oh, what happened? Yeah, your son and your android. Uh, like, what would they do? Well, your son and your android, well, they um decided it was a good idea to go full on Assassin's Creed Deus Ex fucking Last of Us, start parkouring on the rooftop and like thought they could like sneak into any place without being seen even though they totally got seen i'll be like fucking worth it my android right daddy i would love to be an android i would love to be i want an android now there's actually like an incident where like i saw online where they had this android and i think like it was like a, it was like a live interview with the android and the android like said it would take over humanity or some shit I remember it says, it says, it says something like that, where like Andrew was like, it would take over humanity or like some like creepy shit, sci-fi shit like that. Identification verified. Here is your order number eight four seven. That will be sixty three ninety nine. Please confirm payment. Uh. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Whoa. Sorry, well, that's so fucking cool. That's so fucking cool. Ah, oh, wrong one. 
That's so fucking cool. I'm sorry, but like, being paid like that'd be really fucking cool. Oh, that's the camera. So where are these things actually? Temporary parking. See now that's that's a little on the fucked up side. Like, I don't condone that. Take a bus. Off. So I guess the buses are. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, see, bus, not, not this way, okay. Alright, there we go. Oh, the bus is right there! Wait a minute, the bus, that's all bus like right there! The fuck you mean the bus is not right over there? Yeah, so that's kind of, that's a little bit on the fuck that's fine, Android parking zone. That's very, um, uh-uh, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not really liking that. Like, Android, they may be robots, but they're people too. What the fuck is that? Let's talk about this way. okay. They, they may be like robots, but they're people too, you know? Like, Come on, don't be an asshole. For a couple of dollars. Oh, do I have any, do I have any money on it? I can, can I, oh. No, I can't, oh. Uh. Pardon, excuse me, pardon me. That new shirt really suits you. Thank you. Ah, oh, good bus stop. Yeah! Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Um, mm -hmm. just going to the bus stop. No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Hey, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. I'm just going to the bus stop. Ah, ah! Hey, asshole! This motherfucker, you steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Yeah. The fuck is wrong with you, God? I just, I want no violence. Ah! What the hell is wrong with you? I don't want any trouble. Hey, hey, that, wait, that judge sees the Far Cry Five. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Don't make me- I'm an android right. bitch. Do you wanna fucking go? It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You're gonna take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. okay. Let's go, one on one. Yeah, so you may miss my bus, so what's that if you go? Yeah, I want to fuck them up now. Like, the fuck is wrong with you guys? Alright, let's wait for the bus. So now I see why he wants to become like a freedom fighter. Or like an activist. Now I can see why. Because, since that shit happened to me, I, I can tell you I, I will fuck him up right there. there. I could have told you I will fuck him up right then and there. Apartment. That's segregation right there. Fuck that. That's kind of, yeah, see, now I can see why. That's kind of fucked up. That's a little bit on the fucked up side. I, I don't know. Uh -uh. Now I can see why he wants to be activist. Now I can see why. I, I bet you they're evil. <laughs> I guarantee you they're fucking evil. Of all the video games I've played, companies like this are fucking evil. All right, so Marcus took the bus. I wonder what the other like, options were. Walk to the park. What's the world percent? Uh, 71 percent. Can I zoom in? There we go. So what are the other options? So I walk in the park. Did the store? I got the paint. Oh, I got so I got the harass one. So if I so I guess if I just walked around the side, they won't have harassed me. But if I since I walked like in front of them or like you know by them, I got harassed by them. Okay, okay. So that's fine. okay. So that's gonna be it for this part, guys. When we come back, we're going up to the next story, which I honestly I honestly don't know. I want to say we're gonna go back to the um. To that housemaid. I really want to know what her story is. Because, like, I really, cause, like, her thing, I'm just like, Whoo! I'm not like, I'm not going to like that shit. She's going to find some no-no shit in the, in, in the fucking dad's compartment. And she's going to have to, like, fucking run for her life. Fuck that. Now, thank you all for watching. Oh, 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 dude, jeez. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, everybody. I'll be seeing you guys in the next Android film part. Besides, everyone. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and that cool bell thing to stay notified and you can enter into the giveaway. Bye everyone! Bye bye bye!